What's up, YouTube? Sean the Average Angler coming to you on this Friday. Or whatever day you're watching, but for me it's Friday. Friday, the week after returning from a week at Clear Lake uh, in work when you miss work in my job for a week, it is pure hell. And this week was pure hell. Uh, anyway, the sun's still out, we're still alive, we live another week, and we move on. Today I'm going to bring you a couple of newer baits um, from a smaller company perhaps. Um, perhaps some of you have heard from them. But these baits were very effective at Clear Lake. <clears throat> and quite honestly, they're very effective at a lot of lakes. Uh, they are swim baits. Um, some for underspins, some weedless. And... Uh, the first one is the G-Rat Executioner. It can be fished many, many ways. The preferred way to fish it is on a beast hook. Okay, this one is called, I believe it's Smoke Shad. Yeah, Smoke Shad. Good looking bait. Swims really well, has a pocket at the top for your dot beast hook. And this bait was catching some really good fish at Clear Lake. Okay, <clears throat> you see the bend in the tail there. This thing kicks really, really well. Okay, this bait was designed by Gary Collins who lives on Clear Lake, has fished Clear Lake for many, many, many years. And that bait is very successful. It, it's pretty similar to that of a dangerous swimmer um, or a uh, mega bass weedless, only as you saw the tail flop, <clears throat> much softer. The other color I have here, and this is kind of a Clear Lake favorite, is called Light Trout. Now I know to me in the package, it doesn't really look like trout, but when you pull it out of the package, it looks a little bit different. I don't know if you will really pick this up. Yeah, there you can kind of see some of the pinkish in the belly. Again, the tail bend. Um, and these come in assortment of colors and sizes. They do have them at Tackle Warehouse. I will link them for you. And again, folks, these are, these are a six inch swim bait. So you can fish them anywhere. The other one I really wanna show you is the G-Rat Thin Swim. Okay, these are pretty cool. And you see, I got two bright colors. Chartreuse blue, chartreuse shad. I really like the chartreuse shad because it's, it's bright yet subtle, if you will. But what you need to look at in this, and you're thinking, why do I need this? I have Kitex. Well, because this is not a Kitex. Much, much different. Look how thin and flat going down the sides, okay? The other thing it has is these ribs back here on the tail, which really make that area thin. And you can see how it just bends over. This is best fished probably on an underspin, although there is also a slot. I would probably, if I was fishing this on a flashy swimmer, would use a three aught. My preferred method, and you can see it's got the flat nose here, is because it fits on an underspin really, really well. Okay. When you're fishing on an impoundment that gets hammered with swim baits, whether, and you can fish these on A rigs too, folks. 
when you're fishing on an appellant that's getting hammered with Kytex, something different is a good idea. If you're in a little stained water, this color really stands out. Again, you look at the bend of the tail, look at the action of the bait. Okay, so it's not the same as a Kytec, it's different. Um, the thin swim on Clear Lake throughout the winter this year on an underspin was probably one of the most productive baits. Um, they were hard to get for a while. They still can be hard to get. So I advise you, look, buy a pack, buy a couple colors, buy one of these, try them out. If you're not sure about bait fishing in your lake, smoke shad's always a good one. Um, check out all the colors. There's some really good colors, some you can't go wrong with. And I bent that tail. They're in clamshells to keep the tails in good shape. Unless you're me and you put them in wrong. There we go. But check out G-Rot Baits. Uh, the other bait I did not bring in is the Sneaky Pete, the glide bait. Which the the thing that's really different about the Sneaky Pete is it fishes really well in current. Most glide baits don't do real well in a river situation. The Sneaky Pete was actually designed and tested in the Sacramento River on stripers. It swims very, very well in current. It swims very, very well in lakes with no current. But check out G-Rat Baits. Tell them Sean from RB Bass sent you. Just go look at their baits, folks. They got some really good stuff. They got some plastics. They got some interesting other um, prop type baits, uh, chatter type baits. There's lots of different things. Uh, Garrett, the owner, does a lot of testing of all of his baits. Comes up with some real interesting stuff. And all I can tell you is it works very, very well. Sean, the average angler. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.